Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Darkness Within in Pursuit of Lothnolder. When we left off last time, I wasn't really sure what to do. We can't get through this gap down here. I'm in the well, and this is the tunnel to the side. And I couldn't really figure out what to do upstairs either. But, looking around off screen, when I go down here, see my thought was we saw in Clark's notes that he dropped his personal organizer down the well. But our rope doesn't reach to the bottom. However, it's not at the bottom. Somehow I totally missed this the first time. So, there's a digital organizer here. It probably belongs to Mr. Field. He must have dropped it. So pick that bad boy up. Oh, and get out of here. What is... Um... No, don't mess around with it. Go up the rope. What was that? Probably something horrifying. Yeah, I don't want to stay here. Turn around. Out we go. Should we spin around one final time? No, we should go. And maybe pull our rope up too, so whatever's down there can't follow us. Don't go down there again, I'm saying. Get the rope out of here so nothing can come up. Alright, I guess that's not really an option, but that's okay. So, let's head out. And we'll check out this organizer we got. Better lock the door. Alright, so I guess we are not getting back into that room. Yep. Done with that. So this game, I do feel like it got off to a little bit of a rocky start. Um, Gameplay-wise, I had a lot of trouble figuring out the whole think about things, you know, to, to open that envelope that we found in Lothnolder's office, and then the clue-finding thing. But now that I feel like I'm kind of getting things as we go along, it's coming together, and I'm actually kind of having a lot, a lot of fun with it. It's an interesting story. I want to see what's going to happen. I really want to see... He doesn't want to go back in that tunnel, but... What just happened? All right, I think we need to get out of here. I really want to see what's down there in those tunnels. So it doesn't look like we're going to access it this way, but maybe if we go to the cave in the woods or whatever, we'll be able to find it. I am paralyzed with fear. I don't feel so well. I need to rest. Oh, what, you want to go back home? Well... Oh, it won't even let me check out the organizer. Well, that'll have to be later, I guess. All right, then. Let's go rest. Oh, yeah, and it's not even letting me pick where to go. Howard is going home. Was all that I experienced down there real? Or was I influenced by the things described in the notes and the things I've known read about since I was a child? I have a severe headache. I need to rest. There's something in the air in Mr. Field's residence that makes me feel dizzy. That incense messes you up, huh? Fair enough. Now, I did listen to some of those cassette tracks off screen. I listened to tracks 6 through 10, and it was just a whole lot of ambient sound. Some kind of, like, vaguely creepy noises, but nothing particularly interesting and it didn't trigger any like little clues or notes or anything i don't think i need to listen to one through five because looking at the journal the only ones that were really interesting was um let's see eight nine ten were at ivar's house and six and seven were the ones where he said there were strange sounds disturbing sounds that um he thought the tape recorder had malfunctioned which i'm not sure what sounds he was referencing i didn't really hear that much but so I'm, I'm not going to record and post that because it's just a whole lot of sitting and listening to weird noises. Oh, whoops, we were right in front of our house. Were, were we? Yeah. Yeah, this is our house right here. Let's get in here. But anyhow, in case you were wondering what was going on with the cassette player, that's that. Hey there, bathroom. I don't think we actually need to do anything in here. Medicine, maybe? No? Okay. 
Well, he did say he just wants to lay down. And we still can't access our inventory. I want to know what this room is that we can't get to. It's got to be the kitchen or something like that. I feel so tired. Favorite book's poetry, but we can't open it. I'm trying to remember, was there anything else in here? Any books or anything? Let's check this. No, he's tired. He's not messing around. He says, just go to sleep, for goodness sake. Still, though, let's take a look through this. Nothing interesting. It might just be a whole lot of nothing interesting, but let's take a look. This is all just a bunch of poetry. So it might just be here for immersion's sake to contribute to the atmosphere, but not actually be a clue is what it's looking like. Yeah. All right, that's enough messing around, Howard. You can go to sleep. At last, I will rest. Um. Is someone knocking? Could it be? Yeah, someone is knocking. Who's knocking at my door? But is this real or a dream? It's all grainy and staticky, like like a TV that's not coming in clearly. Don't remember turning the radio on before I fell asleep. Well, nothing on any of them. All right. There's that staticky noise out of here, at least. Still no messages. Three in the morning? Yeah, who's knocking at the door? It better be important at three in the morning. I don't get up that early unless it's an emergency. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, you don't have a peephole? Alright, I guess we just gotta open up. Hey! Someone was knocking on the door. Where is he? Or she? Oh, that hallway. You need to speak to your landlord, Howard. Outside it seems so quiet, and there's no light other than moonlight. Yeah, there should be, like, hall lights for safety. There's this one right here, but all the rest is out. Yeah, it's really dark. And it wasn't when we came here earlier. Maybe this is a dream. Anybody there? Strange, didn't I hear knocking at my door? The lights are out, except for the one in front of my door. I think there's a problem with the electricity. What is that weird sound coming from beyond the darkness? Um. Well, apparently we are not going to go investigate. That's the neighbor's house. Uh... Take a look at this again. Nope, same thing. Well, back inside then. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, Howard. Back to sleep, I suppose. Huh? What? <laughs> what's happening to the radio? Yeah, we definitely turned it off. You hear someone talking? Let's go and plug it. I can hear talking, but I can't make out any of the words. Stop that.
And now someone's knocking again? Who is it? Whoever you are, quit messing around. What's going on? I don't understand. Who is this? Is this a joke? Uh, yeah, it is darker here than before. It's not real, and that weird monotonous sound is louder now, like slowly beating heart, starting to feel afraid. Uh, yeah, it is considerably darker. Let's just go inside, and that freaking radio is going to be on again. What is the meaning of this, or is this just a dream? Uh-oh. Power's out, that's what's happening. you just stand there? Alright, I think that was just a nightmare he had. Wellsmouth State Hospital, November 6, 2011. Listen, I need to ask you something about him. He woke up several times during the night. Each time he claimed there was some kind of creature sitting on his chest, preventing him from fully waking up. Does he suffer from nightmares or any other kind of problems? I'm not really sure what you mean. I see. It's probably nothing. Stress, most likely, brought on by pressures of work combined with not enough sleep. You're his friend. When he gets out of here, tell him to take a break. A long break. He needs it. Huh. Well, so obviously, Howard is not doing very well. Day 2, after hospital observation, November 8th, 2011. Oh, is that us? What's happening to me? I've been suspended from my police job until further notice. The doctor told me I've suffered a nervous breakdown. Well, you are they seeing inexplicable things. I woke up everyone in my apartment building three nights ago with my screaming. I don't remember that happening. What's wrong with me? These dreams I keep having, they seem so real. This case, there's something about it. I feel connected to it somehow but why mm, that's intriguing maybe if i could solve it i could understand some of the other things that are happening to me well let's go investigate independently hello i like how he has his dream catcher like all the way down so it's hanging right over him It's just I peachy. Breakdown, you know. You've got to get some rest, mate. I will call you again, mate. Look after yourself. See you soon. Well, where's our dream catcher now? In the other scene, it would have been like right around here. I'd better take my medicine as the doctor ordered. Ah. And we happen to know that that is in the bathroom. I still want to put his sandals on. Kick around in your sandals. They look comfy. All right, I don't think there's any point in going to the closet. Let's just head straight to the bathroom. Is there anything in this drawer? Just a box of buttons. All right, let's get out of there. To the medicine cabinet. Man, this, this bathroom, this is the worst. 
The lighting is terrible. Oh, we got new stuff in here. So, whatever that was. This one too, or no? Enough medicine already. Oh, I didn't mean to grab it again. I meant to back out of here. Ooh, but now we can access this finally. So let's look at this organizer. Password. Uh, uh -oh. Not 1998 this time. <laughs> Forgot your password? Cross space. Is it 1976? Oops. Oh, that was the wrong button. Yeah, I forgot it. When will the triumphant witch be reborn? Oh, that's going to be in one of the books. Okay. The triumphant witch. I think we read something about that. It seems familiar, but I don't remember where. All right, there was the drunk. I don't think it was in this one, though. No. This isn't it. No, so not in here. There's this one and there's this one. Is it here or was it in... Okay, let's open this up. So. When will the triumphant rich witch be reborn? Was this in this book in his house? I don't see any kind of dates here. No, I think this was in that, that moldy book in his house. Is this a dream, too? When I walk out the door, will the world be still be the same? I can see why you would doubt yourself after current events. Well, it's, it's looking good. At least it's not a bad dream. So far, at any rate. Okay, let's go back to Clarkfield's house. And look at that book upstairs. Because I think it said stuff about witches. I should search here more carefully this time. All right, let's go upstairs. And it was on his bed, right? Yeah. Pick that up. Not this page. Mm, this isn't looking that good, but... This is just when the originals were written. It doesn't say. Well, all right. We have to look elsewhere then. But since we need to search more carefully, is there anything else in this room? This is just the shirt. Yeah, okay. So this is the same. Okay, I think that's still it for this. Nothing there. That is locked. Come on, house key. It's not gonna. No. Okay. Let's go across the hall. There's all kinds of books and stuff here. So maybe we'll find something useful now. Just old books. Yep, same on either side. Right in the middle, same thing. Okay. 
just get out of here. This was just about a manuscript. This is those dates again. Try that. Let's just see. Twenty eight. No, this isn't going to be it. That's not the date of the. Yeah. The date of the witch, huh? Okay. date on it? No. Maybe this thing is the source of our troubles, because we touched it and messed with it, and it brought some kind of evil upon us. This is just that recorder. Well, well. I mean, on the plus side, at least we know what information we need to find. We just don't know where to find it. So this we already got. I don't think he has anything important in here. No. Let's get out of this. Maybe we should venture back towards that basement that disturbed us so much. Well, we'll finish off going through the upstairs again first. Still can't read that. I'm still not sure what we should be looking at here. There's nothing to interact with. Well, let's head this away. Search it. No? Cultus, nice cover this period. Huh. There? Yeah, step here. There we go. Oh, and it's just the scummy bathroom. That's right. It doesn't even have a toilet. I don't want to think about how we managed to deal with that. Well, so upstairs is kind of a bust. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. I'll look a little bit off screen and I'll meet you when I have an idea of what to do next.